What's up, y'all? This is really all back with another video. Yes, son, today we got to talk about the New York Knicks because I truly believe the Knicks is one player away from making a legitimate statement in the East. But before we get into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. And if you already subscribed to my channel, share it to somebody who ain't subscribed because with y'all, I know I can get there. And when y'all are done with that, I need you to hover over to that like button and smash that too so we can tell the YouTube algorithm to share this video with the world. But well, that being said, we got to talk about these New York Knicks because it is so much things that can happen that can change the perspective of how we look at the New York Knicks. Now, we all know the New York Knicks would sign Kimba Walker, they would re-sign Derrick Rose, and they would sign Evan Fournier, right? Everybody was excited and thrilled for the New York Knicks for getting these names and keeping players like Derrick Rose on the New York Knicks because a lot of people was excited to once again see the New York Knicks. And for people like me, because I have to be honest here, I was kind of shocked that the New York Knicks was able to catapult their team to get into the playoffs. I'm not going to lie. Like, for a minute there, I really thought the New York Knicks was going to beat the Hawks. And honestly, I think they still should have beat the Hawks. It just They just had some very unfortunate circumstances with Julius Randle not living up to his season but you know that was his first time you get what i'm saying that was his first legitimate time in the playoffs especially as a first option he was the star of that team and i think it was just it was just too much for him for his first time now now that he knows what it feels like no now that he got the experience and the new york knicks is trying to get him some more uh bigger names who's who live up to those moments i think julius randall this next year is going to be a different julius randall now do I think the New York Knicks have enough to make it out the East? No. But I think the New York Knicks right now is trying to create a foundation where they show the league that they are trying to make their team better. And that's all you can ask for. And this is why people like Stephen A and New York Knicks fans is so happy because the Knicks is finally showing they are trying to be productive. You get what I'm saying? And especially for a team that is a huge market like New York. They have to show these players that they are ready to build a found a foundational team or a playoff contending team. So you say, what's next for the New York Knicks? What's next is I think they must try to acquire Bradley Bill. I think Bradley Bill would be a perfect fit alongside Kemba Walker and Julius Randle because of his tenacity, his hunger, and how he is able to get a bucket. You get what I'm saying? And now if they were to acquire Bradley Bill, I'm still not sure if they would be my favorite because I'm just so locked in on Miami, but I would have to respect the New York Knicks in the East, especially when this Eastern Conference, it's up for grabs. This is probably the best Eastern Conference we've seen in a while, especially when you got teams like Milwaukee, the Brooklyn Nets, the Sixers, the Miami Heat, the Atlanta Hawks, and the New York Knicks, who is trying to capture some respect in that Eastern Conference, you know? And I feel like Kemba Walker, a Bradley Bill, and Julius Randle with Derrick Rose would be very, very impressive. And I think Derrick Rose, that was a great re-signing from the New York Knicks. And that shows you how hungry the New York Knicks is this season. You get what I'm saying? When they re-signed Derrick Rose and they got Evan Fournier and they got Kimba Walker, they're showing you right now they're prepared. They're preparing themselves to try to get some respect, right? They're, they're ready to get their respect, especially when they got people like me who's not completely bought in on what they're going to do in the playoffs, right? You get what I'm saying? Because like I said, I'm I'm locked in on Miami, but I can honestly see the New York Knicks getting their best case scenario and actually shocking some some people, you get what I'm saying, including myself, right? And when you have a, a big market like New York, who is attractive to free agents, they are attractive to these big name uh, players, they can get they can attempt to get a Bradley Bill. You get what I'm saying? They can get one of those stars who's disgruntled on their team. They can possibly get a De'Aaron Fox, you know, even though he's a guard, you know, they might not want De'Aaron per se. But I'm just saying, in general, they they have the attractiveness to acquire one of those stars now because they're showing and they've built that foundation that they are trying to make a winning culture. Now, it is some players y'all do need to get up out of there, like Kevin Knox. I like I thought Kevin Knox would be a little bit better, but when you got when he's averaging four points, you know, that's kind of tough. I would also consider trading Mitchell Robinson because he just keeps getting hurt. You know, like I'm not trying to discredit his talent because he is productive when he plays, but it's just like 
if he's not going to be sustainable when you got a, of a when you got a team who's ready to take that leap, it's kind of hard to have him on the roster. And on the subject of Kevin Knox and Mitchell Robinson, like I said before, y'all got to get them up out of there. Like, I, like it's no disrespect to them because they could be really good players on other teams. But when you got Kevin Knox averaging four points, like I said before, and Mitchell Robinson just cannot stay healthy, it's kind of hard for a team who's ready. Like, you got R.J. Barrett, who has been getting better and better. You get what I'm saying? You got Derrick Rose, who's showing these young guys what they got to do, right? You got Julius Randle, who's trying to prove that – he was underrated. You get what I'm saying? Then you got Kimball Walker, who's going to come to this team and try to show the world that, you know, all that slander he was getting in Boston, you know, that was that was unfair. You get what I'm saying? Like, you got a whole bunch of players on the New York Knicks now that's hungry, right? You got Tom Thibodeau, who's been getting disrespected as a coach, even though some of that is granted when you got a coach who will play a, play a player like 72 minutes out of a 48-minute game. You get what I'm saying? But... All of these players on the New York Knicks got chips on their shoulders, right? They got a lot to prove. And I just feel like Kevin Knox and Mitchell Robinson is the odd man out. You get what I'm saying? Because they just cannot be productive and they just can't stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? But down in the comments below, just let me know how y'all feel about that. Let me know how y'all feel about the New York Knicks. And, you know, if Bradley Bill is the player y'all need to really get some respect in the Eastern Conference. And for more amazing content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can be a part of the grind. And with that being said, go. Hey, hey, motivated all about cash flow, ran it up and ran out of excuses. In the field and we turn into hoops. For the clip like bonds, we show. Just like some soldiers, we choke. Step back three, we hoping. We on house, just like Fortnite.